This is a short video made to demonstrate why a golf ball curves when moving on a sloping green. A putter stroke produces a forward momentum that would make the ball follow a straight line if there were no other forces influencing the ball's behaviour. To begin with, consider a sloping green where we can see the free fall line. The first step is to anticipate the shape of the ball track connecting the ball and the hole. To make the ball follow that line, we need a spot to aim at. To find it, we can use the method explained in our ebook, Golf Putting Lines. There are three main forces to consider. One of those forces is gravity, represented by the white arrow, that pulls the ball downwards. The second one is friction, represented by the black arrow, that is always against any movement. If the ball stands still, gravity and friction must oppose each other and have the same length. When the putter hits the ball, it produces the third force, forward momentum, represented by the yellow arrow that you will be shown after the ball starts moving. The sum of the mentioned three forces is the driving force, represented by the red arrow, that changes continuously and takes the ball from the starting point to the point where it stops. After the putter stroke, notice that gravity pulls the ball downwards and friction opposes the movement. This explains why the putt breaks and the ball slows down. Note that the red arrow is always tangent to the parabola-shaped blue line. To discover how this small detail can dramatically influence your putting decisions, go to www.puttinglines.com.